Hi learners, welcome to Engineering Clinic and IoT Design and Applications. So in this session we are going to see uh, the local storage, storage options in uh, Contiki wires. So how we are going to see storage option is, so what are the different storage methods? So how we can access storage information in uh, Contiki? So that's what we are going to see in this session. And we can uh, refer this uh, block diagram. So where we have Contiki NGOS, where we have external storage and internal storage. Under the external storage, we have two options, remote storage and local storage. Local storage through SD cards. And in internal storage, we have RAM and ROM. So read-only memory and, ran uh, read and random access memory. So we have these uh, uh, two options in uh, internal storage as well as in externally also we can use through SD card or a flash memory we can use it as well as we can go for a remote storage. So that will be at the cloud storage. Now when you see uh, the comparing storage models in Contiki NG, so here uh, we have ROM, RAM, local and remote storage, there are all the four options. So we can read on all these four options. So read, read from the ROM, read from the RAM, uh, local storage we can read and remote storage we can read. For writing uh, in read only memory we cannot write since it is read only memory. And for RAM we can write it and local storage we can write as well as remote storage we can write. But except in uh, read only memory we could not do that. So access speed you can see the internal storage is very fast when compared to the external storage. So it is very fast and the local storage and remote storage they are moderate and uh, remote storage some, sometime it is slow when compared to the other storage mechanisms. Here in the access protocols who can access this? Uh, the check the MCU so microcontroller unit in the room can access through microcontroller unit and uh, from the mode I mean uh, the microcontroller unit they have uh, the specified the set of uh, uh, the data bytes which are st stored in the ROM will be stored here and in the RAM uh, again uh, we can able to see the 127 bytes or 6, uh, 1 kilobytes so 1 kilobyte is very huge size for a particular mode so it could be around 127 bytes 256 bytes some kind of RAM will be given for this uh, modes in the local storage usually the access protocols could be either through serial parallel interface SPI and inter integrated circuit communication that is I square C protocol in remote storage we can use everything through web APIs uh, using HTTP uh, representational state transfer called as RESTful API and through TCP we can able to store the data but uh, only in uh, ROM and the RAM so we have to check for the size of the memory through their data sheets microcontroller data sheets or the mode data sheets okay now uh, in this case how we can able to uh, find the size of the memory of any binary file that we will check it first after that I will just take it to the Contiki OS now for example what I did is I just simply uh, created a file called as a simple C program that adds two files two numbers so you can see that I am just adding two numbers a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 and c c equals a plus b and print of c is percentage d and c so just a simple program wherein it just uh, takes two variables a and b and uh, both are added and then allocated to c and the value of c is been printed it's a simple variable and when I compile it what I do is I'll just compile it using the command gcc hyphen o uh, my file I will give an executable name called as my file and use file.c so once I compile it it got generate a file called as my file so it got generated so so I will run my file so once I run my file it shows the value of c is 30 so as per the output it is coming now to find the memory occupied by this particular uh, piece of binary uh, file we have a command in Linux called as size so the name of the command is size my file it is not the size of the source code it is size of the executable file or the binary file what we call now in this case the size will be uh, given here you can see the text uh, is 1545 bytes data is 600 bytes and bss it's a kind of uh, uh, uninitialized or uh, unrecognized variables or uh, undeclared arrays all these things will be stored in the bss and finally the total amount of data in the decimal and the hexadecimal is a69 so that's how the way it comes so that means the text is just belongs to the RAM. The text body here is belongs to the RAM. The data is on the RAM. That is random access memory. And BSS also it's part of RAM. Text plus BSS categorizes in the part of RAM. And this is the total other value. So, so what we have seen here is, so in this storage info we have uh, text belongs to ROM. Then data plus BSS belongs to RAM. So this is how the way the internal storage is uh, used here. Now the similar kind of internal storage, how can we check for Contiki OS also? So that's what our next challenge comes up. 
so now we'll just go inside the contiki folder where we have done so many examples applications earlier we just go into that folder so cd contiki cd examples so let me go with the simple hello world application so already we have gone there so in the hello world i see that i have just uh, created a uh, uh, sky hello world or sky hello world dot native hello world dot z1 modes hello world dot soul modes so there are four executable binaries i have only one binary can be executed directly on the terminal that is on the native other three can execute on a mode but we can able to find the size of each and every binary using the command size i'll just show you what happens here so size hello world dot native so once i try it now you can see that the text is occupied with 101434 uh, bytes data with the 2664 bytes and bss 57408 so please understand the bss here is very huge so those are uninitialized and non pointers so they are all very huge huge in numbers and uh, since it is native mode so native mode doesn't bother about any uh, memory available or any memory available or anything so that's why the size of the huge is the the size of the memory is huge then i will go with uh, sky dot sky hello world dot sky in this case you can see hello world dot sky we have uh, for 43202 is the bytes and uh, 304 is the data and similarly for z1 mode so this on sky mode this for z1 mode so in the z1 mode also it is 4000 47560 slightly higher than the sky mode so that means the z1 mode occupies slightly more for a given set of application please remember the source code is same for all these four modes but only thing is the size occupied depend uh, depends on the particular data sheet of the particular mode it is not uh, depends on anything else it is just depends on the ram total rom total ram and other memory architecture available for a particular mode now i'll go with the zol also so zol mode so zol mode uh, uh, just it occupies very less so 41392 but the data the ram um, it occupies more because it might be zol mode is having slightly higher ram and compared to the other three versions so this way i could able to find out the entire ram okay now ram and rom we know that uh, through the command size command we know okay so now i'll just write down this command here to find the storage the command is size file name i mean uh, binary file i'll simply put binary file so in that case for example i can use size uh, the name of the variable is hello hyphen world dot native or uh, or otherwise uh, size uh, hello hyphen world dot z1 so this way we can able to find out the but now we want to know about the memory profile of these applications so memory profile means so where it occupied how it occupied so what is the total size in each and every segment you want to know about it so how can we find out the uh, memory profile so in the memory profile we have two things called as ram profile and uh, rom profile so rom profile otherwise called as flash profile so we have two things so the, we can able to find out these two things so in this case we have a separate command for that the command is so when we have in, we know that make target equal to native so we have already done this space then if you want to know about the memory profile for this the same name hello hyphen world dot ram prof so ram prof means it is ram profile similarly we can use Uh, target equal ram hello world dot uh, flash prof so we can able to get the details about both the uh, for this is only for the native mode similarly for the corresponding sky mode you have to give the same command target equal to sky and then issue the same name so this way we can able to find out the uh, profile information of all these uh, methods anyway i'll go with the ram prof first for all the targets so now i'll just paste it here so once it is target is done so what happens is so totally 12000 is the note uh, totally here it is 12000 so this is how the way the ram profile is been uh, occupied here you can see all the applications that is available here will be just uh, you can able to uh, check with that so right from starting from now 1 to up to 12000 what happens so everything can be understandable from here so it is only on the uh, bit level okay now next thing is uh, i'll go with the target equal to sky now we can know that it is uh, 12000 for Uh, native but in the sky mode it is just only 0001376 so we have just only a small number because the sky modes have uh, lesser uh, ram profile so that's why it is very uh, low in size similarly we'll go with the z1 modes and say z1 again this also same 1376 as we uh, how we have seen for sky but maybe for zol modes the value is slightly 
2048 so 2048 it is i mean 2048 after 1376 there is one more uh, space here for stack memory so this how the way uh, this memory profile is uh, can be accessed so you can go through each and every um, uh, details about this memory profile so what happens so what, what is the tcpip process where it was mentioned and where is the stack checking what where it happens serial line what happens so sensor process where it happens so all these stuffs you can able to monitor directly from this ram profile similarly we have flash profile so in the flash profile we have hello world dot uh, flash prof so this command so using this flash prof so p r o f so in the flash prof we can get the flash profile so here it is uh, 19448 for the flash profile so whatever happens within the read only memory will data data will be stored here so earlier in the ram prof it's only the uh, random access memory but here it is a read only memory it's entire thing about the text will be stored here that is the read only memory similarly i'll just go with zol is with uh, 1948 is is with 2206 see that the rom is slightly higher in uh, iserdon uh, modes in the sky mode it is 2468 still more higher but in the native mode the read only memory says that it's uh, 1915 so but uh, the memory uh, segment is very huge here because native mode uses a huge amount of memory here so with these commands we can able to get the information about uh, any local storage that happens within the microcontroller or within the mode so with the help of two commands one is size and there is the ram profile and the flash profile so it is always good to know about the internal art, uh, architectures of a particular sensor node so for getting more details about a particular uh, mode or a sensor node you have to refer to the documentation or the data sheet available given for the particular mode so thanks for watching this video so that is the end of this uh, week 6 lecture. Thank you very much.